And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4, and we're going to be doing the railroad questing, and then eventually we'll do the others. Anyways, make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button, let's get back into it. day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to leave this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I could handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the... Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you. Sure. Doctor, what are you doing here? Isn't today your day off? It is. But honestly, what am I going to do with the day off? I don't know. What do you usually do in your spare time? Read test reports, compare data, work. What do you do? <laughs> uh, pretty much the same thing, I guess. Well, enjoy your day off. We are honored to welcome you here. is here. Guess we'll have to go through them.
have to search the rest of the building.
there. Caught you. Dr. Felmore. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. There's the reactor. Not a bad piece of work for its time. They weren't so good at mitigating radiation back in those days. Levels are now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. You may proceed. Security alert in the reactor. 
reactor chamber. Emergency lock. wasn't really something. Sounds like those raiders have delivered things quite a handful. 
father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. What are you going to tell me about this? Father has always been a little... <laughs> if you require maintenance, please file Dr. a report Fillmore? with the I think that was enough physician. excitement for well... ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facility division immediately. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I think that would be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. It would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause, but by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help which arrived in the form of your minute. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your minute men gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve the situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. They'll listen to me. I'll figure something out. You can consider this handled. Believe me. Sure.
going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want, whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're going to take that poor guy wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you going to order the attack or not? This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. don't have all the information. I do, and I'm telling you this isn't what it looks like. That man's not in danger. You'd better be right. If you're not, that man's life is on your head. I'll have my men stand down, but you'd better get in there and make sure you're right. Hey. starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to phase three and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Sir, are you okay? Have you been injured in any way? I'm locked in a bathroom to avoid killer robots. Of course I'm not okay. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. 
In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. are no better than children throwing a temper tantrum. Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings, yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The Facilities Division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Mother. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists, that we are among you. It's true, but it's not the whole truth. We are here, and we are... ...here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor. Ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... ...daily lives. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... dire consequences. Rest easy. Know that the future is... in safe hands, and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was... interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? What do you want with Diamond City? Nothing with the city itself. This is a bit of a shortcut, actually. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, 
before we preempt their broadcasts. We need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should. Break my stuff if you uh, if you don't if you don't mind. All right, in you go. I I don't I don't. Uh, okay, I usually don't. Sounds like those radars of River Tiger were quite a handful. I know you can hear me, now open this... What's uh, going on? What's the use? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. Have they made any demands? Not yet, but I expect they'll demand that you renounce all ties to the Institute. Is there a way I can communicate with them? As a matter of fact, there is. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. We need the key. Here we are. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked. Doc? I'm sure some of the others will question your appointment. Hostile sensor reading detected. Engaging hostile life form.
hundred something. Made it past the guards, hmm? Impressive. Doctor? If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. Can we talk about this? Father chose not to talk to the Directorate before anointing you his successor. So how about I follow his fine example? Don't you think you're being a little selfish here? Far from it. What we do, we do to protect the Institute. We seem to be at an impasse. Then there's nothing more to talk about, is there? Father's heir apparent. She made it past your... Doc. That was unfortunate. We don't like violence here, and I fear your actions will have consequences. What was I supposed to do? Let everyone starve? I don't mean to preach. I simply wish that matters could have been resolved more peacefully. I'll see that the mess in hydroponics is cleaned up. I suppose I should also make the funeral arrangements. Well, there's much to do, so I'll get about it. In the meantime, I'm sure everyone will be relieved that this is over.
Safety first. Remember that. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. The transmitter has been modified. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into their broadcast. I'll let you do the honors. It's really in time to change the world. Sean. It's almost hard. After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director.
Humanity's future is taking to root right here. Looking forward to working with you. I'm happy to be here, Dr. Fillmore. I hope I do the position justice. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life. It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? I agree. We hit them hard before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? I've seen enough to know that weapons are the key to winning wars. Let's focus on weapons development, as you wish. The advanced systems folks will get to work immediately. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. To be frank, I don't agree with Father's decision, but I'll accept it. Apologies. Apologies. I have an urgent message from Z-114. Your quarters have flooded, ma'am. There is danger of extensive damage to your personal effects. I'll go right now. Time is of the essence. To Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video.